So I'll, I'll never forget a few years ago, we were driving home from Christmas and I just felt so annoyed. I was so frustrated with myself that we'd gone over budget on Christmas gifts again. And like at my feet in the car was this gift bag with this gift in it from this adult gift exchange that I did not want, I did not care about. And I was just like, why? Why did we do this again? I thought this Christmas was gonna be different. I said, I'm not doing these exchanges. And I was so frustrated with myself. And then not to even mention then thinking about getting the credit card bill in yeah. January yeah. and just how nauseated I was gonna feel at that. And knowing our kids had gotten all these gifts and already we were like 12 hours removed. And a lot of them I had like searched out, I had spent money on, I thought they were gonna love it. And they were like, it was great for an instant while they opened it. And then it's kind of like, it just got all Tossed pushed aside. in with mm -hmm. the rest of the stuff in our house. And I was so frustrated. And so from that moment on, I am like, I am gonna be true to myself moving forward because I had developed new convictions around Christmas and gift giving, but I just, I was still caught reacting. I hadn't been on top of it enough to have the conversations. Yeah. They were literally gift exchanges that I had opted out of the year prior that now had <laughs> snuck back in. And so I was I was just so frustrated and I'm like, no, I'm like, I'm not going to keep doing this and I'm yeah. not gonna do it again. So today we wanna share with you three simple tips to reclaim the holiday season, to make it a little more simple, a little more minimalistic. Yeah. We've got some great resources to share with you too. And I think it can be practical and not too hard. Well, hi, I'm Dawn from The Minimal Mom and always fun to have my twin sister, Diana, with us. And especially when we're talking about Christmas because her love language, top love language is gifts. And if you haven't done the five love languages, gifts is a love language for real. Um, so her- It's not shallow or conceited. It, no, worldly, it's a real thing. <laughs> materialistic. So her top love language is gifts. And it doesn't have to be big or elaborate, but no. something, a physical item to acknowledge that you uh, herself. Me. My bottom love language is gifts. And what's your second one? Oh, like down here? <laughs> <laughs> like one, yeah. two. Acts of service. Oh, interesting. So if the gift is like you wash my car for me, that works. Yes. Okay, that's, that's good. Like amazing. And mine are words of affirmation and quality time. Mm -hmm. And so inevitably, and I think it was part of my frustration that I described at the beginning, um, Christmas left me feeling empty a lot of years sure. because the gifts did nothing for me. Yeah. Our parents were awesome. They, I mean, my mom sacrificed to give us Christmas gifts, yeah. right? I mean, not exaggerating. And so it, it wasn't that it wasn't the lack of gifts or the quality or the thought of the gifts. It was literally that gifts don't do much and for me. And in the rush of the holidays, you probably didn't have the quality time. Yes, exactly. Or the affirmation that you mm -hmm. needed. But, but on the other hand, going to my grandparents on Christmas day, I mean, we would spend the good part of the, the day, day there, yeah. family was there and food and time. I, I love that. I mean, that was yeah. a highlight, right? Yeah. And Diana liked that because there was gifts there. Um, yeah. <laughs> more gifts yeah. than I promise. But, <laughs> but I do think you're right. I think the, the words of affirmation and quality time didn't always get spent during that or it wasn't the emphasis. Yeah. And so as we talk about a few ways to simplify Christmas, make it a little more minimalistic this year, I do want to acknowledge that I do think gifts are an important part. And like Diana said, it's not materialistic. If you have people in your life that advocate, like they will go down swinging about the gift exchanges. We are celebrating the greatest gift that has ever been given to the world. <laughs> like that is Christmas. So yeah, it just makes yes, sense that right? as an expression of our joy, yeah. we give gifts. And so how do we find that balance? So tip number one is to set a budget even if you're not a budgeting person. I'm mm -hmm. not a budgeting person, right? No. Um, but we have to know what we're working with and that might only be $50 or $100. But if you will set that budget and then try and fit your gift spending within it, you are gonna get very creative. It's when we go in with the mentality of like, well, another Christmas on the credit card, right? I remember that. Mm -hmm. We had no money, but we felt these obligations. We'd swipe and it, it felt so yucky. There was no joy in that. Yep. And then we started like doing the, you know, Dave Ramsey and then it was like Christmas comes around and it was like, oh, 
darn it. <laughs> like we can't do that anymore, right? Yeah. So you set your budget, you get your envelope. I remember my mom having envelopes with the money and when it's gone, it's gone. But if you will do that, you will get very creative, but you'll also have a lot of clarity of which what exchanges just have to get cut out. Yeah, because we're not necessarily saying that you have to make handmade gifts then for everybody no. to try to, but what happens is it's kind of like the minimalism principle of let the boundary be the bad guy. Yes. Like, okay, mm -hmm. my towels have to fit in this, yeah. and that sets it. I feel like family and friends are a little more understanding mm -hmm. if you say, hey, we're really trying to stick to a budget this year. And so we would like to eliminate gifts for adults. Yep. We would, maybe we're not have, gonna have as elaborate of a meal or whatever that looks like for you. Mm -hmm. I feel like people are a little bit more understanding if you can let the budget be the bad guy and then mm -hmm. just say, this is my limit. That's yeah. it, like right. this is the limit. And I think like you said, you're gonna have more peace in that. Yeah. And I wanna encourage you too that kids actually understand this too. You know, when we were growing up, you only got gifts on Christmas and birthdays. And so Christmas really was yeah. a big gift giving event and that was it. But these days our kids are drowning in stuff. They have so much stuff. They're not actually craving more physical stuff. Now they're gonna say that they do. Our yeah. kids do it too. They go to my parents' house, they see the commercials right now. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I am like, stop flashing all these toys in front. My kids wanted no toys until 10 minutes ago when they got here and saw these commercials. So my kids do it too, like please understand that. But when they get removed from the commercials, what do they love most? They will tell you decorating gingerbread houses made out of graham crackers. Yeah. Um, the time together, Christmas baking together, yeah. going to Nana's when the house is all decorated and playing rummy cube on her table. Yeah. They don't know how to ask for those things. So if you have to scale back gifts or you want to scale back gifts, just replace it with some quality time. Plus, there's a good chance at least some of your kids are quality time people. Right. They are going to eat that up. They are going to love it and it is going to be their best Christmas yet. Just try it. You just try it. us, just try it. Money back guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tip number two is to pick your thing. Mm -hmm. As women, I think we, we try to do it all. The decorating, the baking, the wrapping, the shopping, oh all the get togethers. An Instagrammer last year was doing, like she was a mom with kids and she was doing a tutorial on how to make these perfect little bows <laughs> for her kids' gifts. And I was like, you put bows on the <laughs> gifts that go under Handmade the Handmade ones? <laughs> and I was like, now I have another thing I have to do. <laughs> you know? Yeah, and I mean. Maybe that's her thing. It, maybe that's her thing, right? <laughs> But we're adding Christmas on top of an already jam-packed schedule, yeah. right? And actually, Diana, do you want to hold up your Christmas planner? I love this. Diana has a free printable, so we'll put a link below for a Christmas planner. It's less doing more meaning, so it has a faith spin to it. But um, if you will take an hour to go through this planner, you're going to have your priorities intact, and you'll it'll help you walk through what is your thing. And honestly, for me this year, um, we get a lot of time with the kids now that we homeschool um, and they're home all the time. So it's my Christmas isn't as kid centric this year. I'm actually really looking forward to some adult time with yeah. going out with my mom, uh, going out with the gals from our small group. And, and so I'm actually this year prioritizing some adult get togethers awesome. where in the past it was traditions with the kids. It's kind of fun to change seasons a little bit. And I've always done a Christmas tea. Mm -hmm. And that's just fun because it's a tradition. It is, it's girl time where I get to kind of treat and mm -hmm. be hospitable. Yeah. And so it's like, that's my thing. Yeah. Everybody is not going to get that level. <laughs> right, right, right. But that tea is my thing. Yeah. And I love that. And people say like every year they look forward to it, right? And so pick your thing. And it's okay if some of the other stuff gets let go this year. I mean, Christmas, next Christmas will be here before we know it. So yeah. if the decorating has to be a little less, Next year we'll be here before we know it. Yep. And then the last thing is to ask yourself, what can get pushed off till January? So as much as I'm looking forward to some get togethers um, this holiday season, that might not be your season. And so pushing them off to January when you can actually enjoy them. And something to look forward to. Mm -hmm. In Minnesota, January and February are the months that we endure. It's like single digits here. So to have a show to look forward to or a get together, yeah. you know, and where you can just put, hey, you can do after Christmas sale shopping. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, just yeah. have a little more time to enjoy. That can be a lot of fun. So any get together that you can push off, then permission to do that. And I agree, I think it's fun to have things to look forward to in the new year. So 
I would love to know, like, what have you done to simplify? I know uh, with kids too, the the like four gift thing where it's like something yeah. to wear, something to do. I actually have some printables for those. I can link those down below, but it's another way to give a guide if you are transitioning to fewer toys or less yeah. gifts to then show your kids like, oh, here's what we're gonna do. Will you pick out, you know, a couple things for each of these categories. And for adults that are gift people, we've had a lot of fun doing a white elephant gift or a mm -hmm. gift card exchange or like a general gift where you set like a $10 limit sure. and you just exchange gifts when you get there. Yeah. Things like that that are inexpensive, but still kind of, you know, scratch that itch for people who like yeah. to get gifts. So there you go. If you have I just to, had to get that in there again. I know, I? <laughs> I know. So please hear me. I'm not saying cut out all the gifts, but I do feel like I just, I don't want to have that regret that I described at the beginning, yeah. that yuck feeling when the holidays are over where you look around and you're like, none of this mattered, right? Yeah. If we can do a few things this year to simplify, cut out some of the gift exchanges that are excessive, I think we can have a more enjoyable holiday season. And that's, after all, that's what Less it's all doing, about. more meaning. That's what it's all about. <laughs> so looking forward to seeing your ideas down below as well. But we hope your planning is going well and we love you and we'll see you again soon. Merry Christmas. Too early? I think okay. that might be too early. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. <Okay. laughs>